Hey everyone, before this video starts, I just want to say the 89.5% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So, if you're one of those people, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more types of this content. Anyway, on to the video. Alright, hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the material Here Always Pieces in Destiny 2. This vi video idea isn't exactly new. I just wanted to do it because some of the people I've seen making these types of videos don't exactly explain clearly like what they're trying to do or what you need to do. So anyway, let's get right into this video. All right guys, so the first thing in getting here always pieces is the requirements for this farm. The requirements for this farm is completing the mission Reclaiming Europa and of course you must have the Beyond Light DLC. I should have said that first, but yeah. Okay, those are the requirements. Now let's get into the actual farm. Alright guys, so for the beginning of like just working your way up to getting like a ton of here always pieces an hour, first things first you are going to want to go to the Cadmus Ridge. And then you're going to want to go into the Perdition Lost Sector. There, you will just complete the Lost Sector two or three times and get a couple of Here Always pieces. And if you want extra Here Always pieces, you can just uh, start a patrol and then do the Lost Sector, which is really good because it gives like one or two extra here always pieces which is good for the beginning so yeah all right guys so once you're done grinding the perdition lost sector and a couple patrols and you get 10 here always pieces then what you need to do is go into the Charon's crossing you can just fast travel there and then go to varix varix has a section in his vendor screen called sabotage there you can get europa boosts and other things like that so you're just going to want to get europa protector one which is the first one on the top left of the sabotage boosts it is exactly 10 here always pieces and once you do that you will get a little quest which shouldn't be too hard you are just going to want to do that quick quest and then you should get the boost if you turn in the quest of Eric's after doing it. What the boost does is the first 30 here always pieces you get per day, you get them quicker than normal. This is very useful because 30 here always pieces, it doesn't seem like much, but it is actually a lot of here always pieces. So yeah, now let's see what to do after. All right guys, after you get the full European Protector 1 Europa boost, you are just going to want to keep on doing the Perdition Lost Sector, the patrols, and if you can find some, public events in Cadmus Ridge. That way you can just keep on grinding until you get up to 20 Here Always pieces. Now, what you're going to do with the Here Always pieces is you want to go to Varix again, and then you're going to want to go to the Sabotage screen. There you're going to buy the European Protector 2, which is right underneath European Protector 1. After you buy it, you're going to get another quest, which is pretty small. You can do it after like one or two Perdition Lost Sector clears. So yeah, just do that. And then you'll get the European Protector 2. What this does is every time you kill a combatant with stasis, there is a small chance it will drop a Hero Always piece. This is good for just getting some extra Hero Always pieces, so yeah. Now, on to the third part of this. Alright guys, so now what you are going to want to do is get 30 Hero Always pieces by doing Lost Sectors and Patrols. You could do public events still, but those take a bit of time. And then, you are just going to want to turn in these 30 Hero Always pieces into another boost called the European Protector three in this Varix's sabotage menu. The quest is pretty small still, so you can just do that quickly and turn it into Varix. Then the boost, basically what the boost does is every time you get a precision kill, there's a small chance 
that the combatant will drop a hero always piece. So now, now you know what the boost does. Let's go on to the next part. All right, guys. So now I'm going to show you an even better way to get like just extra um, hero always pieces. This is not needed, but it is recommended because it is extremely helpful. So what you're going to want to do with the methods I just showed you is get 30 here always pieces. Then you're going to want to turn them into barracks to get your open rewards one and your open rewards two. Tier one is not useful, like it's a little useful, but not really. But tier two has a specific perk that is really good, which is whenever you are in the eclipsed zone of Europa, you have a bigger chance of getting more hero waste pieces than you, you have like a chance of getting more hero waste pieces than usual. But first I have to explain to you what the eclipsed zone is. The eclipsed zone is either, is like a special place, which is either in the Cadmus Ridge, Asterian Abyss, or the Eventide Ruins. Whenever it's there, there is a yellow triangle floating above the name of those areas, those three areas I just showed you. And what this means is that pretend it's in the Eventide Ruins, which it is for me as of right now. Basically, whenever I'm in the Eventide Ruins, I get a stasis buff. And with the Europa Rewards too, I have a bigger chance of getting um, more heroic pieces. And for the Lost Sector inside of the Eventide Ruins, it is Bunker E15. Cadmus Ridge is the Perdition Lost Sector. And Asterian Abyss is the Concealed Void lost sector so this if you apply the your open rewards to method you can get up to around 150 here always pieces every single hour this is extremely good because 150 is a lot and you need here always pieces for a lot of things on europa so anyway that's it for this video and again if you like this type of content make sure to like and subscribe because this video took a long, long, long time to make. So, anyway.